Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a rain balloon bow. I already have two bow tutorials and I was asked to make a larger bow with one loom. So here it is. The supplies you'll need are one rain balloon, some rubber bands, today I'm using blue, a clip, I got mine at Sally's, your rain balloon hook or crochet hook, and scissors. So please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. Please get your rain balloon, all your rubber bands, and your rain balloon hook or crochet hook. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I made this bow with about 300 rubber bands. I started with a pack of 300 rubber bands and I didn't use all of them. And this one too. So I made all of these, except this one, it's smaller. But I made these two with 300 rubber bands. And for this bow, you only need nine pegs and you will only need to do 15 rows. But for this bow, I did all 13 pegs and I did 20 rows. So I'm going to make this bow today. To do this, please take out your middle piece and your big blue piece and turn your loom so that the arrows are pointing to the right. Now we're going to take a rubber band, twist it on your finger and make an X on these two pegs and push it down. Now take another rubber band, twist it on your finger, and make an X on your next two pegs. And you're gonna continue this all the way down. So take a rubber band, twist it on your finger, make an X, and continue. And if I go too fast for you, please pause the video and press play when you are ready. And go all the way down. But if you want to make this bow, you only need to do it for nine pegs. Now push these down. And we're going to lay rubber bands from here to here. So we're going to make our top row and our X's are our bottom row. So we're just going to go all the way down, making our top row. Make sure your bottom row is pushed down before you lay this row. And go all the way down. Now, take your rain bloom hook or a crochet hook, and we're going to take our bottom row over the top. So take your bottom row over the top, and push these down. Now, keep going all the way down. And it looks like there are four rubber bands that you're taking over the top, but it's only two. And keep pushing them down as you go because that row becomes your bottom row.
Now push all of your rubber bands down and this row becomes our bottom row. Now we want to lay another top row. So we're going to lay another row. Now we're going to take our bottom row over the top. This rubber band, now these two rubber bands. All the pegs except the end pegs have two rubber bands and the end pegs have one rubber band. Push these down as you go. and take your last rubber band over the top. Now push all of these down if you haven't already. And now we're going to lay our next top row. So you're going to lay it all the way down. Now we're going to take our bottom row over the top. So our ends have one rubber band and the rest have two. Then what you wanna do is push all of your rubber bands down and this row becomes your bottom row. And you're going to lay another row, bring your bottom row over the top and push it down so that that row becomes the bottom row. And you're gonna do this for 17 more rows. So we have 20 in total. And if you make this bow, you will only need to do 15 in total. So you'll do 12 more rows. I'll be right back. I just finished my 17 more rows, so I have 20 rows in total, and you should have two. And now we're ready to take our bow off the limb. To do this, we're going to turn it so that the arrows are pointing towards us, and you're going to take a rubber band and twist it on this peg four times because this is our cap band. Now we're going to pull back our cap band and we're going to grab that one rubber band over the top and onto the peg in front of it. Now you're going to go down and grab your bottom rubber band over the top and onto the peg in front of it. And the way you know it is your bottom rubber band is it pulls all of your rubber bands on that peg with it. Now you're going to do the same for the rest of these. You're going to pull back and grab your bottom rubber band over the top and onto the peg in front of it. Now grab your bottom rubber band over the top and onto the peg in front of it. And keep going. Make sure your rubber bands attach all the rubber bands behind it as you go. And you can separate it with your fingers. Now, like when you get them 
all bunched up, you can just separate them. Now, what you want to do is just take your bottom rubber band over the top. And you can pull this tight and pull it off your loom. But do this gently because you don't want any rubber bands to break. Now, we are ready to finish our bow. Now we are ready to finish our bow. But when I was making my bow, I thought I could fold it like this. I thought you could fold it, but I did not like how this looked because I thought the sides curled in way too much, and that's not how a bow looks. So I'm going to show you the correct way to make it. But I forgot to tell you that you will need a color of rubber bands for your center like I did in this bow. And today I'm using white. So we're going to start by turning it like this. You're going to fold it in half and then fold each side down in half. Like this. Now what you wanna do is count five fishtails to the side. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you know that your next row is going to be your center. So you're just going to hold that row down. And I know your sides look very funky right now, but we're going to fix those. So you're going to take the same color rubber band that you are using. We're going to open it up and stretch it around your bow, but you want to make sure it goes on your center one. Now you're going to twist it around again like that and it's okay if one ends up on this side of your fishtail and the other ends up on the other side and wrap it around three times if you can. And if your rubber band is going to break, just leave it at two. Now we're going to fix our sides. And to do it, we're just going to fold the side in and fold the side in. And we want to put these together. So you're going to take your hook, stick it at both edges and hold these. Now, Take a rubber band, put it on your hook, pull this through, and if you get any other rubber bands, just take them off and place it back on. Now you're going to pull one loop through the other and pull this tight. Now we're going to go down and do it again. Stick it in both sides. and pull a rubber band through both of these, place it back on, pull one loop through the other, and pull this tight. Now, for this one, we're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna start on the inside first. So, stick it in the inside, and it doesn't matter which rubber bands you grab, you're just going to grab from both sides, and then pull a rubber band through, place it back on. Now pull one loop through the other, pull this tight, and just stick it in on the side you don't have this extra loop on, and you're going to pull that loop through this side. Just like that. And now we're going to tie these two together in one knot, and tie them twice, tie them tight, and now tie your next two together. 
and tie them tight. Now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to snip them off. Now when you turn it around, your bow looks much better than it did before. Now you want to take your center color and you're going to take five rubber bands. Five rubber bands, then you're going to lay them out on your finger. Lay them out nicely. And then you're going to pull them and stretch them out. And you see how they're nice and they're together? That's how you want yours to look. So keep moving them around so that they turn like this. So now we want to place it onto our bow. So you're going to place this. And then you want to wrap it around again. And it's okay, this does not have to be perfect. Now you want to do the same thing again, depending on how thick you want your center to be. And if you want to leave it like this, that's fine. You can just leave it like this. Or you can do it again and grab five more. And do the same thing again. And then stretch these out. Now stick them on and twist them around. And if you just want to leave it like very skinny in the center, you could have left it with five rubber bands and you didn't have to do 10 like I did. But that's up to you. And if you want to attach a clip, you can just stick it through your center rubber bands. Like that. And it kind of covers up your back that you won't see. And you're done. Well, it's almost finished. I didn't like how the sides were very open, so I decided I would close them. And to do this, you're going to turn your bow around, and you're going to stick your hook in one side, take a few rubber bands, then you're going to grab two rubber bands from the back of the front, and as you pull them, you shouldn't be able to see any rubber bands moving. So now slide this on your hook and grab a few more from this side, from the back. So now we just tied it all together. And you're going to take a rubber band, put it on your hook, and pull this through gently. Now place it back on and pull one loop through the other. And you can tie this tight. Now let's do the other side. Grab a few rubber bands in the back on this side. Now we're going to grab two rubber bands from the front of the back, front, back. And as you pull them, you shouldn't be able to see them moving. Slide these on your hook and grab a few more from the back. And we can tie these together with a rubber band. So take a rubber band, put it on your hook and pull this through and place it back on and pull one loop through the other. Now, with these two loops in the back, you can either tie it or leave it. But I'm going to tie it and leave it. So to tie it, you're just going to make a simple knot.
I'm going to leave mine with a knot, like that, or you can cut it off, but that's how you make a knot. And you can leave yours as a hair bow, you can clip it onto a purse, or you can even wear it as a bracelet. But this is what it looks like as a hair bow. This is what it looks like when it's done. And I took my clip off and I made it a bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!